Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Hearing Back Directly from God webinar led by Tom Bird. If you have not done so already, please download and turn on the writing audio located in the chat room. And also be sure you have something to write with, pen or paper, keyboard, whatever works best for you. My name is Janelle Coots. I am the Creative Operations Manager for Tom Bird. I joined Tom's team um, just almost exactly two years ago in 2018. Uh, I am the behind the scenes specialist who helps connect the world with Tom and sometimes Tom with the world. I have a degree in communications and I enjoy making the digital world go around like solving the pieces of a puzzle. Uh, I love the problem solving aspect of my work the best and I never draw back from a challenge, I'm not afraid to tackle a problem from a different angle until and work until it all makes sense. Tom always says I can do anything and I have yet to prove him wrong. <laughs> um, I also own and manage a paintball team here in St. Louis, Missouri. I have two dogs who are often in the office with me uh, and I like to hike and play sand volleyball when the weather permits. And now I would like to introduce to you Donna Velasco. She is our executive director and someone who I'm sure many of you have worked with directly. She joined Tom's team in 2018 as well after attending one of his writing retreats and witnessing the personal transformation and breakthroughs people experienced during his retreat. She has over 34 years of experience in customer care, leadership, and building highly effective teams. Donna enjoys mentoring, coaching, and, and assisting you to connect to that deeper, authentic part of yourself through the writing of your books and supporting you through the revision process so that you can experience the same kind of transformation. Donna has been a great, great asset to our team, and I am so thankful to have her here. And with that, I am going to hand things over to Donna. Wonderful. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you for that kind introduction. Just, uh, first of all, I want to extend a very warm welcome to everyone and thank you so much for taking the time to uh, share this with us tonight. We're so glad that you're here. For those of you, uh, some of you may not be familiar with Tom and his writing retreats. Um, and so I'd like to just share with you a little bit about Tom's background and his story, how this all came to be before Tom actually comes on board and walks us through some of the processes. So let me share with you a little bit about our leader, Tom Bird. I don't know if you know, Tom had a spiritual awakening about uh, the age of 25 years old that led to him writing and publishing his very first book and fulfilling a promise to God that he made to teach others the method that was shared with him to write their books through connecting with the divine. Tom has fulfilled that promise for the last 36 years. He's been teaching the Tom Bird method worldwide. He's now taught thousands of aspiring new authors. Uh, he's made over 4,000 lecture appearances. He's appeared on radio and television. And he has, um, at this count, over hundreds of Amazon best-selling authors. According to Tom, God wrote all the books. At least that's what he says about the thousands of books he has helped authors birth over the last 36 years. And that's been and still is his job, to help people birth their books by connecting them directly to the author of those books, God. When they commit to do this most natural of all acts, their books just come pouring out of them 
enabling them to complete the writing of them in a few days. What's the lesson in all of this? Simple. According to Tom, God is reaching out to all of us, all of his offspring, in a variety of ways. Could be the lyrics of a song playing on the radio, the words of a friend, and yes, through the calling to write a book. And we should definitely listen to and follow that calling. For there is only one who has both the insight and the authority to detail for you exactly who you are and thus why you are here and what you are meant to do on this earth. And as a direct offspring of that source, you deserve the right to hear that source, the truth, love, and wisdom he or she constantly shares, not secondarily, where human error runs rampant through the words of the church, a guru, clergy, psychic, whose job should ideally be to lead you to your own recognition of that ultimate of all connections lying dormant in you, but directly for yourself. Renowned best-selling author, speaker, Neil Donald Walsh did so with his Conversation with God series, completely debunking that you have to go through some outside source. And 28 books later, look how he's changed the world. But that wasn't the only documented case in history when God spoke directly to a human being. In fact, the Bible is loaded with such instances. God conversed with Adam, Noah, Moses, Abraham, Paul, Cain, Elijah, Samuel, and to Jesus many times. And outside the context of the Bible, there are even more documented accounts of this transpiring. The saint Joan of Arc not only heard and listened to, but acted on what she heard God say to her, which led her to being de be declared a saint by the Roman Catholic Church in 1920. And it's chronicled that in the winter of 1956, that the Reverend Martin Luther King sat at his kitchen table, frightened to death about what may happen to he and his family should he follow through with his participation in the Montgomery bus boycott. It was then that he heard the voice of Jesus come through proclaiming, I will be with you. In response, King moved forward, igniting his legendary civil rights ministry and the rest is history. The point I'm trying to make is that the crucial point in moving from ordinary to extraordinary comes directly as the result of not only hearing God and listening to what he or she has to say and acting upon what is shared. And the good news is that God operates like a 24-7 radio station. He, she is always broadcasting. And all you have to do to hear he or she via one of the endless number of modalities available to you is to tune in. The second bit of good news I want to share with you is that you're not alone in your desires or understandings in this area. According to the 1999 Gallup poll, 23% of Americans already openly admit to having heard a voice or seen a vision that they felt was a direct response to a prayer. A number, because of a variety of factors, is sure to have gone up 
in the time since that pole was taken. A byproduct of these communications have been not only the wisdom and guidance that we share, but also the majority of the 23% report feeling vastly more loved as a result of the interchange. And I'm here to assure you that you can do it too. Of course, being able to reciprocally communicate back and forth with God. In fact, as a child, a direct descendant of he, she, you already are programmed to do just that. All that has to be done for this reciprocal communication to transpire in your life is for the effects of the inappropriate thinking that you've been injected with to be removed and to once again be replaced by the sage wisdom, the pre-programmed guidance as a child of God that you were blessed with. God is relentless because your life mission is priceless, as are you. Make time, take steps to listen to and be guided by God. And change the world. Thank you, Donna. That was beautiful. I want you to copy this down, folks. Take this down. God is relentless because your mission, your life mission is priceless, as are you. God is relentless because your life mission is priceless, as are you. Can I copy this down? <clears throat> Make time. Take steps to listen to. Be guided by God. Make time, take steps to listen to, and be guided by God. And change the world. And change the world. And change the world. Copy that down. Breathe into that for a moment. And change the world. And change the world for the better. Breathe into that. And change the world for the better. Close your eyes for a moment. Repeat that to yourself three times. And change the world. 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 Okay, Janelle. Here are the steps to hearing back from God through writing. Copy this down. Number one, sequester yourself for at least 20 minutes. Make sure you're playing the writing audio. Sequester yourself and make sure you're playing the writing audio. And find yourself in a comfortable, comfortable position, eyes closed. Chin to your chest, arms and legs uncrossed, spine straight. Eyes closed, chin to your chest, arms and legs uncrossed, spine straight. <clears throat> Take six deep breaths, exhaling deeply, six of them. 
We'll do this together in a minute. Take six deep breaths, exhaling deeply. Okay, Janelle. Then allow yourself to step into a safe place in your mind. A safe place in your mind. A safe room. A place of acknowledgement of love, of safety, of caring, of compassion, of acknowledgement. Okay, Janelle. Why there? Take four more deep breaths. Exhaling deeply. And greet God there. God may appear in any number of ways. As light, as a being, as a sound, as a blank screen. Me, God, there. He or she will show up, believe me. As long as you show up, too. Okay, Janelle. Then ask your questions of God. Deep personal questions, soul based questions. Then be quiet and write why God answers your questions. While writing, and while connected with God in writing, keep these things in mind. Write as fast as you can. Write as fast as you can. Do not edit or read your range of your writing experience. Always write what you feel. Write as fast as you can. Don't edit or read what you're writing. Always write what you feel. Next, no. At the end of the session, thank God, receive a loving hug, be open to writing down any closing comments God may have for you. Okay, Janelle. Let's do what we came here to do tonight, guys. Let's go there together right now. Hopefully you're sequestered away in a quiet space. We won't be bothered. Make sure the writing audio is on. Take a moment just to relax. Closing your eyes. Dropping your chin to your chest. Arms and legs uncrossed. Spine straight. Breathe normally, breathe normally. Eyes closed, chin to your chest. Arms and legs uncrossed, spine straight. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And exhale deeply. One. Do it again. Two. And again. Three. And again. Four. And again. Five. One more time. Six, eyes still closed, chin to your chest. Retreat to a safe, comfortable space in your mind. Safe, comfortable space in your mind. A place where you feel loved, appreciated, acknowledged, protected, cared for. Allow yourself to settle into this space. Four more deep breaths. Nice deep breath into your nose. 
Blow it out. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Blow it out. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Blow it out. One more time. I still close, just relax. As God appears in the space to greet you. Notice how God looks. Notice how God feels. Notice how you feel in the presence of God. How do you feel in the presence of God? How do you feel in the presence of God? Let God give you a big hug. Take that big hug, heart to heart hug, heart to heart hug. And as God does that, as God hugs you, he, she takes a moment to whisper something in your ear that you need to hear right now. Receive that message. Receive that message. Open your eyes. Write that message down. Write down that message right now. Beginning right now. Write it down. When you're done, Close your eyes and reconnect with God again in your mind. For right now, write that message down. Okay, then close your eyes again to your new chest. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Blow it out through your mouth. One more time. And look God directly in the eye. And ask God this question. Why was I drawn to this webinar tonight? Why was I drawn to this webinar tonight? Receive the answer. Open your eyes. And write down what you hear. What you hear, feel, or see. Any now. Why was I drawn to this webinar tonight? Why was I joined to this webinar tonight? Keep writing. Write fast and don't read what you write. Do not read what you write. And always write what you feel. Always write what you feel. Keep writing. Let God take over the writing. Let God lead you to where you need to go tonight.
Let God do the writing. You do the listening. You do the feeling. You do the hearing. But let God do the writing. Keep writing. God never stops talking. Keep writing. Just let God take the writing experience where he wants to take it, where he or she wants to take it. Allow God to take the writing experience where he or she wants to take it. That's it. Surrender to the writing. Surrender to God. Surrender to the love, the guidance, the direction of God. Just keep writing. Don't stop writing. Don't stop listening. Do not stop writing. Write what you feel. And close your eyes again. Go back in that space with God. Take two nice deep breaths in. Exhale deeply each time. And ask God this question. What am I not hearing that I need to hear? What am I not hearing that I need to hear? What am I not hearing that I need to hear? And open up your eyes and let God do the writing for you. You do the listening, do the hearing. Let God write for you. Just surrender to the writing. Let it go wherever it wants to go. Let God take control of your pen or your keyboard. It is possible to communicate directly with God and you're doing it right now. It's only your inappropriate training for the past that's kept you from doing this before this time. It's kept you from doing this before this time. Keep writing. This is a natural act. The more you write, the more comfortable you become with it. The more you write, the more comfortable you will become with it. What do I need to hear that I'm not hearing, God? What do I need to see that I'm not seeing, God? Ask that question. What do I need to see that I'm not seeing, God? Keep writing. Keep writing. Just keep writing. Just keep writing. Let God lead the way through your writing. This is easily done. This is easily done. Doing great with it. I can feel it.
Just keep running as fast as you can. Don't give yourself time to think. Feel, feel, feel God's presence. Feel God's presence. Feel God's love for you. Just right. And ask this question. Why am I not hearing or seeing what I need to hear or see? Why am I not hearing or seeing what I need to hear or see? Let God respond through your writing. Just keep writing. Just keep writing. Let God flow through you onto your keyboard or onto your pen, through your pen. Just keep writing. Then ask God this question. God, how do you make your presence known in my life? God, how do you make your presence known in my life? How do you make your presence known in my life? How do you make your presence known in my life? Ask God, Jesus, very detail of his response. Is there a response? God, how do you make your presence known in my life? Surrender your writing to God and hear the word of God as it comes to you through your writing. Keep writing, keep hearing God. You can do this at any time or any place on your own. As 
It's God's gift to you through me and my team. We're here to help you reconnect right with God through your writing. Keep writing. Just keep writing. Just keep writing. Let God flow through you right, right now. Relentless, correct, Gene. Relentless. God is relentless to share his or her love with you in guidance and wisdom and direction and comfort. God is relentless. Relentless, believe me, I know. Oh, my, do I know. God is relentless. 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 Boy, do I know that. Relentless. Relentless. Now ask God the question. Why are you so relentless? Why are you so relentless? Let God answer that question through your writing. Why are you so relentless? Relentless. Why are you so relentless, God? Relentless. Just keep writing. God never stops talking. God never stops talking. We'll make this request of God. God, please show me my divine mission on this planet. God, please show me my divine mission on this planet. Show it to me, God. What am I meant to do? 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 Show it to me, God. Show it to me. Show it to me, God. Please show it to me. Let me see it. Let me feel it. Let me hear it. Let me taste it. What is it, God? Why is it so important? Why is it so important? God, please show me my divine mission on this planet. God, please show me my divine mission on this planet. 
Show it to me, God. Don't tell it to me. Show it to me. Let me see it. Let me see it. Why is it so important? Show me my divine mission on this planet, God. Show it to me. Let me feel it. Let me see it. Let me hear it. Let me taste it. Become, become one with it. Let me become one with it. Show it to me, God, its entirety. Show it to me. Show it to me, God. Show me as well, God. Show me as well, God, how this mission will be accomplished. Show me as well, God, how this mission will be accomplished. How this mission will be accomplished. Show me, God, as well, how this mission will be accomplished. Mission will be accomplished. Keep writing. God's talking. Keep writing. God's talking. Keep writing. Relentless. On a relentless. Relentless.
What are the steps? What are the steps I need to take to follow through on my end? What are the steps that I need to take to follow through on my end? Ask that of God. Keep writing. Just keep writing because God keeps talking. Who are the others? Who are the others? who will join me on this journey? Who are the others who will join me on this journey? Who are the others who will join me on this journey? Who will join me on this journey? Who are the others who will join me on this journey? In what roles will they play? In what roles will they play? In what roles will they play? 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 What role will, will writing play? What role 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 will writing play? Ask that of God. What role will writing play? Will writing play? 
keep writing. Just keep writing. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Stay with it. Stay with God just a little bit longer. How does writing factor in? How does writing factor in? Just a little bit longer. Stay with it. Will writing play? Will writing play? You're welcome. Stay with it. Ten more minutes to stay with it. To stay with it. Ten more minutes. What will my life look like? What will my life look like should I follow this path? What will my life look like should I follow this path? What will my life look like should I follow this path? Just stay with it and keep writing. Keep writing. What What will my life look like? Should I follow this path? What will the next year look like? What will the next year look like? What will the next year look like? Should I follow this path? What will the next year look like? Should I follow this path? What will the next year look like? Should I follow this path? Almost done. Hang in there.
What will the next six months look like? Should I follow this path? What will the next six months look like? Should I follow this path? Next six months, what will they look like? Should I follow this path? What will the next month look like? Should I follow this path? What will the next month look like? Should I follow this path? Ask that of God. Let God respond to your writing. Surrender to God. God's voice, God's love, God's purpose. He, she is relentless, relentless, relentless. Believe me, relentless. God's love is relentless. God's love is relentless. God's wisdom is relentless too. And guidance and safety. God is just relentless, relentless. Let's stop writing. Close your eyes, chin to your chest. Enter back into that space with God. God is standing right in front of you. And ask God a question which you have to get answered. Just as has to be answered. Ask God a question. Just has to be answered. Any question you want. Any question you want. Let God respond through your writing. Do so now. Let God respond through your writing. Respond through your writing. Do so now. Any question you want answered, ask. God will answer it. God is here tonight to answer it. Right to wisdom of God. Right to wisdom of God. Now close your eyes again. Go back into that space with God. And ask God another question that's weighing heavy on your mind. Ask God another question that's weighing heavy on your mind. And receive the response to that question through your writing.
Ask God any question you want. He, she will answer anything you ask. And write the answer down. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Hang in there. God is relentless. Write down that answer. Let God write down that answer for you. And one final time, close your eyes. Drop your chin to your chest. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and blow it out. Nice deep breath in through your nose and blow it out. And thank God in your mind for showing up tonight, for loving you, for having patience with you, for always being there with you. Receive a hug from God, one more hug from God. As you do, God has something to say to you. Something that is very important for you to hear right now, for you to hear right now. Open up your eyes and write down what God said to you. Open up your eyes and write down what God said to you. Stay with us just a little bit longer, guys. And take a moment just to rest and relax for a moment. Come fully back into your body. Take a few deep breaths. Shrug your shoulders. Stretch a little bit. If you feel so cold, if you feel so cold, comment about your experience in the chat room. Comment about your experience in the chat room. What did you experience? Warmth, Jonathan. Good, Jonathan. What did you experience tonight? Can you do this on your own now? I think so, yes. Wow. Hey, Diana, nice hearing from you. Hey, Bambi, nice seeing you here. Peacefully confused.
Well, great comments. Welcome, Frida. Always welcome, Frida. Welcome, Sherry. Good hearing you. Now, what do you plan to do with this new knowledge? What do you plan to do with this new knowledge? You're right, teacher. Keep praying, Diana. God wants to spend time with you, you know. How will you share this gift with others? How will you share this gift with others? How will you share this gift with others? Welcome, Kim. Good hearing from you. How will this positively affect your life? How will this positively affect your life? What did you learn from tonight? What did you learn from tonight? Beautiful, Marie. What do you have to say to God now? What do you have to say to God right now? What do you have to say to God right now? Welcome, Linda. Good to see you from here again. I 
How many of you have surrendered your life to God? Welcome, Jonathan. Beautiful. <clears throat> Beautiful, Diana. Welcome, Patricia. Patricia. Welcome. Donna, do you want to rejoin us? Donna, Donna? Sure. Wow, that was really powerful. Really powerful. It was powerful. Absolutely. Uh, I'm shaken by the whole thing. Wow, that was really deep. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Thank mm -hmm. God. I just want to remind everyone too that all of these steps are on Tom's website that you see on the screen now, right? rightfromgod.com steps. You don't have to remember it or write it down. You can find it on there. If you feel inspired, uh, you can certainly post stories or comments of yours on that website. That's what it's created for. The main purpose of the site that Tom created was to strengthen that connection to God using his methods that you've experienced tonight. So I just want to let you know, we'd love to have you come back. Tom has two more webinars coming up. Next one's going to be hearing from God on your purpose. Now that's one I'm definitely going to pay close attention to. That's March 25th, same time, Arizona time. And on April 16th, it will be hearing from God on your loss or gain. So if you've resonated with what you've experienced tonight in these writing exercises and this deep connection that Tom brings, Tom has a special opportunity for you. It is limited, uh, only to 100, first 100 people who'd like to sign up. But if you're feeling that call to write, and this has really inspired you, I've never seen a better opportunity than this. Tom is offering a virtual retreat for $95. Normally these virtuals are $595. Or if you'd like, come with us in Sedona, Arizona. For $295, you can join us for a live retreat. That's normally $795, and I can tell you, they are truly transformational. I went to a Tom Bird writing retreat, and I signed up to work for Tom while I was at the retreat, because I saw how much people's lives were changing, and I wanted to experience more of it. I wanted to go deeper with Tom. I wanted to see where this was going, and to be a part of it. So 
this is resonating with you, you can go to Tom's website and just use this promo code, PFP2020, and it's gonna reduce that to either 95 for the virtual or 295 for the live. Just wanna say that February retreat is already sold out. I'm so sorry. We only have about 16 spaces left for the March retreat. So if, if this really is on your heart, please don't hesitate. I don't want you to be disappointed. Um, go ahead and take advantage of that special gift and, and join us. We sure would love to support you. You'll have just the most amazing experience. We would love to see you there. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Janelle. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Yes. Just want to remind you, too, this session has been recorded, and Janelle will be sending a link out in the next 24 or 48 hours. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can reach me at Donna, D-O-N-N-A, at TomBird.com. Call me on my phone. 714-292-8030. Be happy to help you in any way possible. And just want to say once again, thank you so much for joining us tonight and sharing this evening with us. And we do hope to see you back in March. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you. I would say God blesses you, but God bless you, but God does bless you all. Bless us with your presence tonight too. Thank you. Night. Thank you and good night. Good night.